On January 1st, Japan was shaken by a magnitude 7.5 earthquake. What makes this event even more intriguing is that Nostradamus surprisingly predicted something similar more than 400 years ago. His prophecies, long enigmatic, seem to be coming true with chilling precision. What's even more surprising is what might be about to happen this year. Recently, a magnitude 5 earthquake struck Japan, and many people around the world are linking this disaster to an ancient Nostradamus prophecy. This French astrologer, who lived in the 16th century, seems to have predicted this disaster with unsettling accuracy, leaving many perplexed. Before dismissing this idea as mere coincidence, it is worth taking a closer look at Nostradamus's mysterious book, Les Prophéties, published in 1555. In this book, he predicted that in 2024, there would be a devastating earthquake on the Japanese coast, triggering a tsunami that would destroy homes and claim hundreds of lives. It is a disturbing and difficult prediction to ignore. Nostradamus is famous for his accurate predictions, which are not limited to natural disasters. He also predicted major global events, such as the death of Queen Elizabeth II and Hitler's rise to power, both of which happened exactly as he wrote. What is most alarming is that his prophecies suggest equally catastrophic events might be on the horizon this year. Born in 1503 and died in 1566, his full name was Michel de Nostradamus, but he is immortalized as Nostradamus. His book, Les Prophéties, published in 1555, is a work of predictions with 942 poetic quatrains describing future events. Nostradamus feared that his astrological visions might be attacked by the church, so he encoded his predictions in a mix of Greek, Provençal, Italian, and Latin. The words were skillfully interwoven in these languages, forming phrases that only the most dedicated scholars could decipher. Interpreting these prophecies is not an easy task, and few manage to access their true meaning. Nostradamus, the enigmatic 16th century prophet, left behind a series of predictions that continue to astonish the world. Many of his prophecies, ranging from natural disasters to human tragedies, have come true in surprising ways. But understanding the true meaning of these could reveal an even more unsettling future. Among the most notable predictions are the deaths of important historical figures and disasters of epic proportions. One of the most prominent predictions was the Great Fire of London. Nostradamus wrote, The blood of the just will be lacking in London, burned in the fire of 66. The old lady will fall from her high place, and many of the same sect will be killed. On September 2nd, 1666, London was ravaged by a fire. The blaze, which started in the humble bakery of Thomas Fariner on Pudding Lane, quickly consumed the city destroying everything in its path. But this prediction is just the tip of the iceberg. One of the most intriguing examples of Nostradamus's predictions was his dark vision of the terror Adolf Hitler would spread across Europe. In one of his quatrains, he wrote, From the depths of Western Europe, a poor girl will be born, who by her tongue will seduce a great troop. Her fame will increase towards the kingdom of the East, Fierce beasts with hunger will cross the rivers. The greater part of the battlefield will be against him. In an iron cage, the great will be dragged when the girl from Germany does not see anything. Each word of this prophecy carries a significant load of symbolism and precision that has revealed itself in surprising ways over time. Nostradamus mentions the birth of a poor girl in Western Europe, someone who, with her eloquence, would be able to seduce great crowds. Adolf Hitler was born in 1889 in the town of Braunau am Inn, which, although now part of Austria, was at the time part of the Austro-Hungarian Empire, located in the heart of Western Europe. 
of humble origin, Hitler grew up in difficult financial circumstances, and his rise to power was marked by his rhetorical skill, which mobilized and inflamed the masses. His eloquence, fueled by a discourse of hatred and promises of national greatness, attracted a legion of followers, bringing the Nazi party to power and plunging Europe into an era of darkness. The verse, her fame will increase towards the kingdom of the East, seems to allude to Hitler's expanding power, which was not limited to Germany, but extended across Europe and beyond. The girl from Germany became a feared leader, whose expansionist ambitions deeply impacted the East, with military campaigns reaching the Soviet Union and other Eastern European countries. The rivers crossed by fierce beasts could refer to the invasions and bloody battles that followed, where devastating armies crossed natural and political borders, spreading destruction wherever they went. When Nostradamus speaks of a great one who will be dragged in an iron cage, many interpret this as a premonition of Hitler's fate, whose actions led to his own destruction. The Iron Cage may symbolize the bunker where Hitler spent his final days, isolated while his empire crumbled around him. When the girl from Germany sees nothing, suggests Hitler's final battle, both literal and figurative, facing inevitable defeat and loss of control over the events he had triggered. The enigma of the name, Hister, often cited as evidence of Nostradamus's accuracy, is not a typographical error. Many believe this word is a veiled reference to the Danube River, known as Ister in ancient times, which flows near Hitler's birthplace. This detail adds a layer of complexity to the prophecy, showing how Nostradamus, through a play on words, might have predicted the rise of a central figure in 20th century history. But if we thought the horror ended there, Nostradamus also predicted an even greater event of destruction, the bombing of Hiroshima and Nagasaki. In another enigmatic quatrain, he wrote, The celestial dart will extend its course. Death in the word, a great conquest. Proud nation will be struck by a stone in the tree. Rumors of monstrous humans bring purification and then expiation. This vision unsettlingly fits the events of August 1945, when the United States dropped atomic bombs on the Japanese cities of Hiroshima and Nagasaki. The celestial dart can be interpreted as a direct reference to the atomic bombs falling from the sky, bringing death and destruction on an unprecedented scale. The proud nation struck by a stone in the tree reflects the devastating impact on Japan a country that prided itself on its military strength and resilience, but was severely punished by these new weapons of mass destruction. The rumor of monstrous humans could allude to the terrible effects of radiation, which transformed victims and the environment in horrible and incomprehensible ways, while purification and expiation suggest the global and moral consequences of this new era of war. These prophecies raise a troubling question. Have what we have already experienced in the past, and what is still to come, truly been predicted by Nostradamus? What else did he see in his visions that is yet to come to fruition? If these revealed prophecies are any indication, the answers might be more terrifying than anyone could imagine. Each deciphered prophecy opens doors to new mysteries and makes it clear that for Nostradamus, the future was a vast field of possibilities where humanity's destiny was eternally at stake. We are living in turbulent times where ancient prophecies seem to be fulfilled before our eyes, but many have yet to perceive what is happening around us. To help understand these signs and to prepare yourself, I have decided to share with all subscribers of the channel a digital ebook, The Powerful Prayer of the Virgin Mary. In this book, I reveal secrets of the most powerful prayers that will surprise you.
The link to download it is in the first pinned comment. But don't delay, as only a few copies are available, and the ebook will be taken down soon. This will not be an ordinary year. Nostradamus's forecasts indicate that we are about to face a series of events that will transform the world as we know it. The first forecast is alarming. The dry land will become even more arid, while great floods will threaten inhabited areas. We are already seeing how this is beginning to happen. This will be a year in which nature will manifest relentlessly and those who are not prepared will face great challenges. But that's not all. The second forecast suggests that, before the end of this cycle, death will visit homes in an unexpected and massive manner, taking those least expected. It will be a time of great sorrow, but also renewal. Many will lose loved ones, but it will be a test to strengthen the faith and character of those who survive. Finally, Nostradamus speaks of a great revelation, an unexpected leader will emerge on the horizon, bringing with him a new order that will change the rules of the game forever. This leader will not be a conventional political figure, but someone who will emerge from the shadows to guide humanity in times of crisis. His actions and decisions will profoundly impact the course of history. This year marks the beginning of an era of transformations and revelations, and those who are attentive and prepared will be able to face what lies ahead. Do not expect traditional media to alert you about these events. They are occupied with distractions while the true signs are unfolding before our eyes. It is crucial to keep an open mind and prepare spiritually for what is coming. This is a time for reflection, prayer, and seeking the truth. The more aware you are of the signs and prophecies, the better equipped you will be to face what the future holds. We are living in times of change, and only those who are prepared will be able to withstand and thrive in the new era that is approaching. Stay vigilant, seek knowledge, and strengthen your spirit. For the journey ahead will not be easy, but with faith and preparation, we can overcome it.